So ecology is actually one of the most ancient fields of biology. Even ancient civilizations were worried about the ways that animals act with each other and how their animals act with humans and things like that. And in fact, naturalism is something that goes very, 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 very ancient, as, long, as ancient as Greeks and ancient as Romans and even Egyptians and beyond. Because the idea is that observing the natural world, we can make better predictions about it. And then we can control it, perhaps. And even the Egyptians were obsessed with the idea of controlling the river if there was any way to do it. Because the river was a source of its life. And the living things that live because of the river were fascinating for the Egyptians. And this didn't change throughout the history of the earth. And ever since we were cavemen, perhaps, we were interested in seeing the things that the animals did and the things that they did. They, how they lived and trying to understand why there sometimes there's a lot of hunt and sometimes not so much all of these try things to try to understand the environment were basically the birth of biology so perhaps ecology is the most ancient branch of the biology studies and in the middle ages at the end of the middle ages and when the renaissance kicked in a renewed interest in studying the natural world started and then two major fields of biology were initiated one of them was called um, you know, taxonomy and and that's when the people were out there to try to classify the animals and try to understand you know the different types of animals that existed Linnaeus was one of the pioneers of that and he was actually the one that invented the taxonomic system we'll learn more about that too in the year and there's also um, the idea of ecology which is the interaction between those animals that they were classifying and how they all fit in within ecosystems within the environment so not studying just each animal but studying them all together and together, in the beginning, this was called naturalism. And so you have these guys called naturalists. And these are the people who go out there and, you know, experience the world. And you still have a lot of people like that. Zoologists, botanists, uh, all mycologists, virologists, field biologists, you might call it. People that go out there in the, in the real environment to learn biology. And you even have those OTV, you know, those people that go on Animal Planet and they're hosts and they tell you about the animals and, you know, they go out into the nature. Those are naturalists, people that, are, that live for, the, for the observing nature. Like Jane Goodall, that fa famous uh, naturalist that studied the behavior of chimps in the wild. But since then, ecology has changed a lot. It's became more of an empirical science, a science that actually tries to study the ways that these things actually work. In no, in so, therefore, we've tried to replicate as much as possible uh, things in the laboratory, as well as create procedures to measure things in the wild and to try to understand the wild without affecting it too much. And so ecology went from being a very basic naturalistic science that we went just to observe the natural world to a very empirical science where we actually do experiments in the natural world and in replicated uh, habitats inside laboratory conditions. So there's a lot that you have to learn about ecology, but I want you to understand that it's, it was started with naturalism and now it's an empirical science where we actually try to manipulate things and understand things by doing controlled experiments. So it went from just a pure observational appreciation of nature, learn about the animals, learn about the interactions, to something that we actually try to uh, control it and uh, see how us making changes truly affect those environments.